All right, we gotta replace this blower too. Kenny's getting the screws out of it. That'll loosen it up because this thing is locked, locked up bad. Now that that's loose, get that belt off. This whole thing will come out of here. It should come out of here. Can we get, get that out of there? Just throw it right up on top of the unit. Wires are still connected. We'll have to take that out. All right. Quarter inch will take these out here. Oh yeah, she got hot. They gave me a new pulley too, which I will use, so I don't have to take that one off. All right, and we got three wires connected somewhere here. Damn, she got hot in there. Yeah, all these are stuck together. I'm trying to see where the hell they connect at. We'll have to pull some stuff out of there. Yeah, she's all melted in there. Uh, the wires go in here, but then they just disappear. Look at all this melted in here. All that orange in there is melted plastic. I think that was the wire nuts. Cause if you look here, you see those little springs right in there? I think wire nuts used to be there. And this thing got so hot it melted them. Good God. Yeah, I'm gonna need new wires. These are number 10 wires, but oh, they might be long enough now where I can just cut them, but she certainly got hot. That's for damn sure. Yeah, because we have to wire it. I think it wires for low or high voltage. Low voltage being 208, 230, high voltage being four. 60 so we need to wire this for low voltage 208 230 but yeah all that is melted in there look at it all that is crazy <laughs> yeah that melted <laughs> she certainly did a number yeah i'm not gonna be able to use any of this I'm gonna need a new connector and new wires. All right, guys, I just realized something. Um, this unit is three phase, but only the compressor's three phase. So the indoor motor is supposed to be single phase. Somebody at one point in time installed a three phase motor and wired, I guess, um, a contactor or something. Kenny, pull this panel right here because I was wondering why that capacitor was right there. I said, why is this capacitor here? That's weird. But uh, somebody at some point just wired in a three-phase motor. Maybe it's all they had on their truck. I'm not sure, but that's probably why it burnt up. So when I gave them the model number, they gave me the correct motor, which is single phase. It's crazy, man. That's <laughs> crazy stuff. So we're going to convert this back to single phase. That way it works the way it's supposed to. Hacks, man. All right. Thankfully, when they did this, they left all the original wiring in place. Um, so they just ran three phase off of here and then they jumped off of right there. So um, I just hooked this up the way it was. This yellow wire goes to our... Uh, capacitor and then uh, our brown wire is also going to hook to our capacitor and our black wire just runs right from the contactor over to there so all I really have to do is just take off these two wires here and I already took off L3 for the motor off of here um, so that right there is our blower relay so uh, hopefully we can just hook it back up the way it was remove these wires and we should be in good shape it did go through this 
uh, this monitor here though. Um, so I, I might have to run our black wire feeding our motor back through there so they can still um, use a uh, current sensor. That's what it is. I was drawing a blank on that. So they can still use this current sensor for their building management system. Um, yeah, because it might throw the building management system in some sort of error if it doesn't run through this current sensor. So we will still, we will have to disconnect our black wire, run it through the current sensor. All right, this isn't as bad as I thought it was, but um, still a bunch of idiots for putting that three-phase motor in there. Probably why it burnt up, honestly. Because the only thing turning it on and off, it was just killing one it was just killing one phase whenever it turned on and off from here just from this little relay this relay called on a g call it would close and then when it stopped it would open and it was only killing one phase stupid stupid assholes guys it's crazy we are blessed with a beautiful day today i mean it's like 50 degrees up here 55 and we're up on a roof so it feels like it's even warmer we're out here, no hoodies. Even our long johns are getting too warm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just the other day we were shivering, had hoodies on, winter jackets. Now today, I can literally feel the heat on my face off of this roof. Man, oh man. But we're not complaining. We got our new motor on the bracket and we're putting it back in now. Kenny's gonna lock those screws down. Uh, we can slide this up some. There you go. There you go. Oh, I thought you got it. That one needs to have no bottom. Okay. All right, we, we're still loose on here, so. We'll get our belt. This belt honestly looks new. So we're gonna put this guy on here. All right, we got our new capacitor in, new motor in, new belt. Um, we rewired our L1 wire through this uh, current sensor. I think we're good. We're gonna find out though if they dicked with anything else. So we're about to restore power and see what happens. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Well, I heard something click for like a second. All right, so this is just a straight air conditioner. So I doubt it's calling for air conditioning at the moment. And we just turned it on. So we'll probably have to give it. Uh, no, I stand corrected. It has a W1 and W2 call. Or at least a W1 and W2 wire. Is this a heat pump? Nope. Nope, it's not. So they have, for some reason, W1 and W2 wired. But this is not a heater. Weird. They don't even have a heat pack in this. So let's go between common and R. 27 volts, okay, let's go between common and G. Okay, we don't have common and G, so we're gonna jump out G and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go between R, which we can just jump off this fuse here. R and G. Yeah, our belt's kind of wobbly, so we'll have to redo that. We'll have to tighten that up. I was afraid of that. All right, we got her going. Our amp draw was really high when we first started up. Our on our. The data plate on our motor and our unit, it calls for 4.9. We You can't go above that. When we first started up, it was around like seven amps. First, I thought I had it wired wrong, but I didn't because I had to change all that wiring around from uh, 
when they require the three phase motor. So we just had to be patient and make adjustments. We had to open up the sheave about two full turns and we had to tighten the motor back up because every time you adjust that pulley or that sheave, whatever you call it, you have to make more adjustments to the motor. So you have to be very patient when you're doing stuff like this, but now we got it under 4.9 amps and we should be in good shape. We're at about 4.3, 4.4, and we're looking good. Now that might go up slightly when we put that, that, uh, that door on, but we'll check that here in a minute. I stand corrected, we went down in amp draw, so we are in really good shape right now. We are well below our threshold, and it's running good. The pulley's tight, everything's in line. We're good, good to go. So where this is a straight air, probably won't run it and nah, we'll, we'll, we might bump it and see uh see make sure it runs the compressor runs our air conditioner does work and it's uh discharging warm air too so i know it works all right so come when they need to use this air conditioner it'll be ready to rock and roll all right guys yes yeah, so somebody i guess maybe had a three-phase motor on their truck realized it was bad and uh, and wired that thing in there so um probably would have worked longer if they weren't just breaking one leg of power so um when we ordered the new motor they gave us of course the right motor so um, we put it in we got it back up and running and uh they're good to go guys so um so good stuff good stuff so um that's gonna be it for this one guys so uh go ahead and like the video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and um yeah catch you guys on the next one